everyone how we're doing today i hope you are all safe and sound thank you for stopping by my channel and if you are new don't leave without subscribing okay so i have here three yards of this fabric a little bit stretchy okay and today we are going to be making a circle dress or an umbrella dress all right please ignore the voice i know my voice sounds so beautiful this morning all right so we'll be making use of the floor to cut the dress and then for the upper part is a full length dress but i want to insert a lace fabric from around the chest line area okay so when we are done with the cutting we will now come up to the table to cut the chest line area all right you should be familiar with this by now Okay, so for a full drape or a full circle, I'll just be folding a fabric this way. I'll grab just one end. Okay, I hope you see just one end, fold it this way, and then let it drop. Okay, but if you don't want yours to be so full like this you can still shift it i'll be making my markings on the right side so that it will be visible enough so i have here two lines clearly marked out this one and this one we are going to be starting our measurement from here okay and then the length of my dress is here that's from my shoulder to the desired length is at this point I'll just place my shoulder measurement which is 8 inches you make sure your tape gets to this folded end 8 inches okay this is 1 inch for shoulder slope and then here, three inches for shoulder slope also. Okay. And then my armhole measurement along the eight inches. I hope you see the way it's going. My armhole, which will also serve as my, okay, my armhole, I'll be using eight inches. You see it assuming we didn't put our tape at this folded end and you want to draw the armhole it will give you something like this i hope you see it. this is not it this will give you a very awkward circle dress but this is going to give you a perfect circle dress so ignore this one I also place my bust measurement, which is 44. This is my exact bust measurement, which is at this point. I'll be using ease of about one inch and then one and a half inches seam allowance. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. This is my exact bust measurement. Then I added ease of one inch and one and a half inches sewing allowance. Okay, so from here now, I'll just take it. I want to make use of this whole lower part. That was why I folded it this way. 
Okay. I'll just use my finger like so. I just take it down. Okay. Ignore this one, please. So it's from here to this way. Okay. And then this is the length. So I will just carefully cut all of them out. So now you see it, we have our full circular umbrella dress, okay? So when we go to the table now, we will now talk about the neckline, okay? This is either the back or the front, so I'll be cutting another one since I folded only into two. Hope you get that. Okay, so now I have two of them cut out. I've also maybe laid it out here so that we cut the neckline. For the neck width, I'll use four inches. Since this uh, this dress does not have zip, and then for the volume of the neck, I'll use five inches for the front and then two inches for the back. Okay, so two inches for the back, five inches for the front. Okay, and with this done, I have to now decide whether I'm only removing this front part or the front and the back. Okay, but basically, I'll be taking away my chest line, which is nine inches. So this is what I'm taking away. Whether I'm taking both the front and the back, it depends on what you want. Okay. So I'll carefully cut off this nine inches. Okay. So when I cut it off, I'll be using this lace fabric in replacement of this one I removed. I hope you understand it. Okay, so I removed both the front and the back. I hope you see it. So I'm just going to replicate this with this lace fabric. Okay, I'm going to be replacing this one with this. Okay, so you should have something like this when you are done cutting it. Okay. So I'll also cut for the back. And when I'm done, we will now stitch it back to the body of our dress but first of all let me complete the back okay so i've done the joining this is for the back okay and this here is for the front okay I didn't turn it the way I did the back. I joined the back this way. Okay. But for the front, I just placed my lace fabric on top of my material. I hope you see it. I just made my stitch on top of it because I wanted this to show. Okay. So the next thing to be done now is 
to tape the neckline of both the front and the back and join them at the shoulder okay we are almost done this is actually very easy to make so this is it after joining them at the shoulder I purposely made the front place fuller okay and then this place is a little bit open because it's the back okay this is on purpose for the front to be fuller because i don't want my chest side to be too open so i will then join them at the two sides fold at the hemline before we now talk about the design that we'll be putting at this lower part i'm going to be attaching this the trimmings i got from this lace fabric on top that's what you have here so i'll be attaching it at the lower side but that will be after i have done the hemming okay so i've hemmed the lower part and our dress is almost ready so here is what we're going to do I will just according to how I want it place these trimmings at the lower part it depends on what you want and how you want it to look like okay so I, when i place it <coughs> excuse me when i place it i will just use my machine to make sure i hold it firm against the fabric okay when we are done with that i'll just insert the sleeve I hope you understand it depends if I like I put it this way okay depending on what you want but I'll make sure I distribute it evenly so that we have the exact space between each other okay so I've successfully pinned it together with my fabric so it's going to appear like this i will just make sure i hold all of them firmly and for the sleeve this is what we have remember i made a tutorial on slash and spread method you can still use it to create this kind of sleeve okay for my length is 23 inches seam allowance inclusive and this way it is 17 inches when on full. Meanwhile, it is spread into, it is folded into two. Okay. So what I'll be doing will be to fold. Either first of all, join the upper and the lower part using about two inches from the upper part, two inches from the lower part. So I'll close up this way, stop at these two inches, close up here, stop at these two inches so that here is open. When I close it up, when I stitch here and here, I will now fold this place. Okay, the sleeve is going to be open. And then for the lower part, we're going to be inserting a band to it. A band that you can easily manipulate. Okay. So for my band, when on fold, it is five inches, okay? And then this way, it will be the circumference of your arm, depending on where you want it to be. But like I said, this fabric is a little bit elastic. So even if I tighten it, I'll still be able to shift it a little bit upwards, okay? So I will do what I just said after I am done with the flowers at my fabric okay so now i've carefully attached the lace fabric the trimmings against my fabric okay 
So the last thing will now be to attach the sleeve. And this here is my sleeve. I hope you see it. Like I said, I, I joined these two pieces of sleeve together by about two inches up and down. Okay. And then I folded the side. And then for the lower part, I just made some few pleats. Okay. Now I'm going to use this band to place around here. Okay. If you want your own band to be shorter, you can make it shorter. Okay. So I'm going to be placing my own band here. Okay. This way. So when I do it, I will then close it up here and attach at the body of my dress and that will be all. Okay, so with the sleeve inserted, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. Okay. I suggest you try yours at home. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching till the end. Actually, we'll start doing something very soon. Most of all these dresses I make, I end up not wearing them. So I am thinking of starting to sell them off at the end of every tutorial. If you are interested in any of the dresses, I'll also be putting some by my channel so that you see it. You can just DM me and we talk about it. Okay? I'll be selling them out at a very cheap rate. Thank you once again for watching till the end. And if you are new, please don't leave without subscribing. And when you do that, also tap on the notification bell. Till we meet in my next tutorial, don't forget, sincerely from my heart, I love and appreciate all of you. Okay? And don't forget also, show kindness to people and expect absolutely nothing in return. There lies the true joy and happiness of human existence. Take care of yourself and keep your head high. Bye.